Thanks for joining me for this tutorial on auto grading assessments created with Google Forms using a script called Flubberoo. I'll take you through the whole process here. Once you have created your assessment using Google Forms, your assessment might look like this. There should be a question in your assessment someplace that asks for the respondent's email address. In my case, I've included that as my first question. Now what I'm going to be doing right now is I'm going to create the key that the assessments will be graded against. So I'm going to enter my own email address there and I'll go through and choose the correct answers. And I'm going to submit this just like your students would submit it if they were taking this as a quiz. Let's go back to the spreadsheet and take a look. So here is my entry. I typed in my email address these are the choices that I chose on the form. Let me show you how to insert Flubberoo now. Simply go to Insert and then Script. In the Script Gallery, you can either search by typing in the name of the script if you know it, or you could click on Education and see what scripts are available. Well, there's Flubberoo. So we simply click on the Install button, and behind the scenes, it's installing the script onto the spreadsheet so that we can auto-grade this assessment. Now, sometimes this takes a couple of minutes depending on your network, so we'll just let this run for a second. Once that script is ready to run, you'll see a dialog box. Now you need to authorize Flubberoo to run because this is actually going to be able to access email addresses that the students submitted with their, their quiz. So I will click on Authorize, and then I'll go ahead and close this. Now you'll notice that Flubberoo is here as a choice. I can learn more about it or I can go ahead and grade this assignment. So I'm going to click on Grade Assignment. Let's check the steps out here. Grading step number one asks me to select a grading option for each of the questions in the assignment. Now Flubberoo tells me that it's done its best to guess some of the options and make the work easier for me, and it's done a pretty good job. The first question it shows here on the right hand side is what's your email address, and it realizes that's how we're going to identify students. So it gives us that as a choice. The second question it thinks is a question that we're grading for points, and it is. We're going to assign that one point. The third question were, was what types of assignments do you want to grade? Well, because this is checkboxes and I would accept different answers, I'm going to say let's skip the grading on this particular question. And the fourth question is a text answer, and I do want it to grade that. Now the students' answers will have to match mine exactly, and I want that to be worth one point. So here I've told Flubberoo what I would like it to grade, what I want it to skip grading, and how it's going to assign the credit. Simply click Continue. The second box asks me to choose which submission should be used as the answer key. So we've already put our answer key in. Here's the email address that's associated with that answer key. All I need to do is select it and click Continue, and Flubberoo is going to go ahead and grade against that answer key. Now you'll notice that it's opened up a second sheet and it's now allowing me to view the grades. You can regrade assignments. Students can add new quizzes and you can grade them over again. It's very flexible in that regard. So here it tells me what time that was submitted, gives me the email address of the person who submitted that quiz, tells me the total number of points on the quiz and gives me the grade for that student. Each individual question is also graded, whether they show a 1 for having gotten the credit, the question not being graded, and again a 1 for having gotten the credit on this one. Now let's see how we can notify students about their grades. If you go back to Flubberoo, you'll recognize that there's a new choice here, Email Grades. Clicking on that gives me the opportunity to email all the students their grades. I can include the answers or not, my choice, and I can also send them a message. In this case, I'm going to say, you're ready to move on. Nice work. And I'm going to go ahead and send that email message, which will now be sent out to any student whose quiz was graded. It tells me how many students were graded. Great work, Flubberoo. This is a really excellent tool for teachers. You're also going to receive an email once you email students with their grades that will tell you how many emails